All right, day 11 of my revolver collection shorts, and today we have another six-shot all stainless steel revolver from Colt, and it is another Python. Now, the differences between this one and the one I showed you yesterday is this one has a four-inch barrel, which is a much larger barrel. I would even say that's quite a large barrel. And it is an original production revolver. So it is not one of the new ones. So therefore it's, you know, a little bit more delicate. Even though it has probably one of the best triggers you'll ever find on a revolver, I don't shoot it because they are, like I said, delicate and prone to go out of time. But it is a beautiful gun as a collector's gun. And that's why I have this one. So that is my gun for the day. My four inch barreled six shot all stainless steel, original production, Colt Python. All right, day 12 of my revolver collection shorts. And today we have the last of my Colts. It is another six shot, all stainless steel Colt revolver. And this one is the Anaconda. This is basically the 44 mag version of the Python. This is the gun for the big boys, the ones that want a little more power. Still has six shots, still has the same features of the Python. It's just a sturdier build. It's just like it's big brother. So if you like a Python, but you want more bite, you might want an Anaconda. Now this is an original production one, but they are making new ones. So this is day 12, like I said, of my collection, the last of my Colts, my Colt 44 Magnum Anaconda. All right, everybody, day 13 of my revolver collection shorts. And today we move into my Rugers. We leave Colt behind. And our first one is a Ruger GP100, as you can see here. Now, Rugers are very nice little revolvers. They differ from the Colts in a couple of different ways. One, they are mostly cast. So they do have a little bit more of a, you know, bulldozer-y kind of build to them. Uh, they also, the cylinder rotates the other way. It rotates counterclockwise. And it also has the push button release on the side, which is different than Smith and Colt. Now, this one is a little bit different in that it has a combat style rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. But the real main difference between this one and most Ruger GP100s that I own is the fact that it's 10 millimeter. I don't know why I bought a 10 millimeter revolver, but I did. I guess I thought maybe everyone needs to have one inadequate revolver. So that's what I bought, my GP100 three inch barreled 10 millimeter revolver. All right, everybody, day 14 of my revolver collection shorts, and today we have another Ruger. Now, this is the only blue Ruger that I have, and it is a four-inch GP100 chambered in 44 Special. And you get five of those 44 Special rounds in this gun. And that chambering and the fact that it's blued isn't the only thing that makes this gun special. It's also special because it is a Jeff Quinn Memorial. I was quite a fan of Gun Blast and Jeff. So I was very happy when I was able to get one of these. Now, as far as the gun itself goes, it is blued. As I said, it has a very nice blue finish. It is chambered in 44 Special, like I said. It also has a beautifully polished stainless steel trigger and hammer. And it has an unfluted cylinder there to give it a really special look. And that is a quick look at one of my favorite guns I own, my Jeff Quinn Memorial GP100 in 44 Special from Ruger. All right, day 15 of my revolver collection shorts. And today I'm cheating a little bit because I'm showing two guns at the same time, but that's because they are identical. They are my match set of Ruger Vaqueros that I used for SAS. The gun I'm showing today is the Ruger Vaquero. Now these are the new Vaqueros. They're a little bit beefier than the old Vaqueros. These particular ones are in 45 long Colt as all cowboy action guns should be. They are single action guns. You actually have to load them from a side loading gate and you have to cock the hammer every time you pull the trigger or it's not going to go off. These are all stainless steel versions here. You can get these blued. If you're going to shoot cowboy action, these are one of the best ones you can have. They're not as historically accurate as some guns like Uberti, but like I said, they are awesome. They are a little bit stronger, so they're great for shooting whatever you want to shoot out of them. These are my stainless steel single action Ruger Vaqueros in 45 Long Colt. 